A proposed bill could remove low-level criminal records for about 2 million people in California. The goal is to make it faster for those convicted to find work and housing. KSBY News reporter Megan Healy is live in San Luis Obispo to break down this bill for us. Megan? Well, Karina, local attorneys tell me that people with those low level convictions, if they've completed their probation, paid their fines and are not currently charged with other crimes, can have their record expunged. Now they can do this online themselves, but they often turn to attorneys because sometimes it's costly and confusing. Well, basically this new bill would just eliminate those steps and expunge nearly 50 years of records automatically. We all make mistakes, but some mistakes like DUIs, shoplifting and disorderly conduct can haunt people for decades and impact their ability to find homes and jobs. New legislation introduced by Assemblyman Phil Ting could wipe low level criminal records for nearly 2 million people in California. Officials say it applies to arrests and convictions that were not prosecuted. Yeah, these are people that have taken care of restitution and court fees and they've done everything that they've asked of us. And at this point, they should be entitled to be able to move on with their lives. Criminal defense attorney Scott Taylor says he deals with a lot of low level crimes and people trying to clear their name. He says his law firm would have less business if the bill goes through, but he's OK with it. They're trying to make ends meet. They're trying to take care of their families, get a job, be a productive member of societies. And why would we want to throw up hurdles for them? Under an existing law, Every month, the Department of Justice will have to review criminal files and identify people who are eligible for that record relief if the arrest or conviction happened on or after January 1st, 2021. This new bill would go back further to include arrests and convictions on or after January 1st, 1973. San Luis Obispo County District Attorney Dan Dow says it's not worth it. Dow says he's concerned mistakes will be made when the Attorney General's office is tasked with reviewing millions of records. Instead of trying to impose this on the AG's office, is empower our defense bar uh, making it easier for them to go in and petition, perhaps waiving the fees that are required for individuals to petition the court and ask that their expungement happen. Now, the bill also states that sex offenders or any offenders that serve time in prison are ineligible. And under the proposed bill, low level criminal records would be invisible to people like employers and property sellers. But Dow tells me that it's still going to be visible for law enforcement and could still be used in the courts. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Megan Healy, KSBY News. Megan, thank you. If passed, the bill would go into effect January 1st, 2021. The governor and assembly would still have to allocate funds for the record review process.